Rottweilers are a nightmare to be trained. This is because they're too vicious and just uncontrollable. This turns out to be false. How can't be trained a dog who's in the top 10 of the list of most intelligent dogs, learns within five repetitions, performs a previously unheard command with a 95% success rate, and learns over 250 words, which is over 100 words more than most dogs? So Rottweilers turn out to be the easiest trained dog breeds in the world. But as for intelligence, besides these, there are two other elements such as instinctive intelligence, obedience, and adaptive intelligence where Rottweiler is a top performer in these as well. So these dogs have developed instincts, obey quickly, and are so adaptable that they read an atmosphere or environment faster than any other dog. According to professional trainers, Rottweiler should start its training from the age of 8 weeks. But according to them, the most important part starts from the age of 11 weeks, and it has to do with the socialization and exercise of this dog to interact, tolerate, and adapt to other animals, people, places, or activities. However, there's a very popular opinion that Rottweilers aren't trainable, with the pretext that they're vicious, dangerous, and uncontrollable. If we try to find the origin of this false opinion, then we'll go as far as the last century where they were used as fighting dogs. But besides history, this opinion is mostly based on his intimidating appearance and dominant posture. Therefore, people think that such dogs aren't easily trained, but this turns out to not be true. According to a study, it's more difficult to train a Chihuahua than a Rottweiler. But besides Rottweiler, in the list of the easiest dogs to train is also the Border Collie, Poodle, Miniature Schnauzer, and German Shepherd. These dogs have one thing in common – high intelligence. But the hardest dog breeds to train have something in common – low intelligence. This list includes dogs such as Afghan Hound, Beagle, and Basset Hound. But besides intelligence, one factor that affects the training of a dog is hyperactivity. So the high level of energy necessarily affects the dog's inability to concentrate first and then to receive information. Another factor is the training itself. So the techniques used during the training, these techniques have changed a lot over the years, and this is proven by modern trainers who base their training on rewards and positive praises. Unlike traditional trainers who believe that leadership in a dog is developed by showing him who he should be afraid of. The case of Chaser, the smartest dog in the world who, in addition to learning more than a thousand words, did extraordinary tasks for a dog, proves how important training is for a canine. Despite the fact that Chaser was a border collie, so the smartest dog breed in the world, the biggest role in this achievement was the right, positive, and timely training. It's proven that there isn't a dog breed in the world who's just totally untrainable. However, this important process is a seal for the life and, above all, the quality of life of a dog. This was all. Till next time, stay cool and see ya!